What's up you guys? Welcome back for another video. Today I want to do something a little bit different and you guys are either going to really appreciate or hate that I'm revealing this truth. Now, basically I want to talk about how YouTubers, myself included, we kind of lie about things. So we kind of manipulate cities, we rearrange things, and if you think other YouTubers don't do it, I'm sorry but they do. And I think it's just good that um, you guys get to actually know what goes on. So people who are doing my idea of the city fix videos or any other type of tutorial where they need to have, for example, a lot of traffic or bad examples. So there's all of these things that they do to manipulate your, the city to make it look worse and to entertain you guys more. But I think in doing that, they should at least be honest about it because I mean, how many of you guys knew that I manipulate my city all the time for you guys on camera? I assume not many of you knew that. So we're going to go through all of the things that I did for this city in particular. Now, this city is the city I made for the planning your downtown video on the City Skylines official YouTube channel. So it is a vanilla city. So if you guys would like to download this, I'll put a link to that to my Steam workshop and it will say that there's like 4,000 mods and assets, but there's actually none because it's all vanilla. So you can go ahead and download that. It's a really great city, not too big. And yeah, so let's get into it. I want to go through all of the things that I did for this video in particular. And basically, um, these types of, let's call them manipulations, I do these in a lot of different cities and so does a lot of other YouTubers. So let's begin. First of all, this city initially, the only... Uh, entry point was this highway over here so it comes out here and goes straight in so this highway over here goes to nowhere and this highway along here did not exist so what was happening was the city was basically a ghost town so you can see right now it is basically a ghost town we only have buses and police basically so what i had to do to make the town first of all more lively was build this highway and connect it up over to here. It never mattered what it looked like because you never really saw this on camera. So I disconnected it. So I disconnected this original highway and then rerouted it all the way through here. So then we had a lot of traffic to play with. Now it's not just about having traffic in the background, but it's also useful for making these areas more busy. For this city and a lot of other cities and what a lot of other people do is I basically would remove the highway. So since we now have this um, this highway network that goes through here and all the way over here, we're going to have a lot of traffic flowing through. And by removing this, it basically forces all of that traffic to go through your downtown and make it look a lot more busier than it actually is. So in order to keep them going, I would also make sure that I have despawning um, disabled. So despawning means that they will, if they get stuck, they disappear. Um, if, if it's like this, it means that they won't actually disappear and therefore they can build up and you can make huge traffic jams, which I do all the time. A lot of people who do city fix videos make these huge unrealistic traffic jams. And that's why I can't watch any other YouTubers doing city fix because it's so unrealistic and it's kind of pathetic. So Okay, so now that we have all of this traffic starting to come through here slowly, um, the first thing that I wanted to do in this particular video, so when I say this video, I mean the official City Skylines video, I wanted them to use this bypass road. So what I would actually start doing is allowing them to only go, for example, I would remove these ones saying, hey, you guys can't go this way anymore, even though there's nowhere to go, but you guys would have to go for example, over here. So then they have to go around the roundabout. I would I would remove this connection. So then they all have to go like this. And then the same for over here. I'd make them have to go all the way down through here. So it's making them go away from the highway and forcing them to go all the way down through here, effectively making this area look a lot more busier than it really is. Is. So that's something that I kind of always did in City Fix to make it look a little bit more uh, worse than it actually is. And, and I mean, it's not a bad thing to manipulate things. It's trying to make you guys more entertained, right? But then another issue that you would always have is you might have these trucks trying to cut down through here. So then you would start to have to say, hey, you guys can only go straight ahead, which I've done um, or like that as well. 
And then same for these ones down here. So they might be trying to go up through here and then go back onto the main road or something. So then you'd start manipulating it like this so they can only go straight ahead, straight ahead and actually forcing them to go all the way down through your downtown area, making it look a lot more worse than it actually is. So you can see now that there's a lot of traffic starting to come down through here, makes it look a little bit more lively and a little bit more interesting. So that's the first thing we would usually do is remove the traffic from the highway and make them actually go through your more crowded areas to emphasize that there's bad traffic there. So something else that we might also do is use the time traffic lights. So if you wanted a big bunch of traffic, I would make a very quick stop sign traffic light so just go like that and then they all stop and if, and basically what that does is it allows all of this traffic to build up and build up build up build up and you can make these huge traffic jams now this is the one of the main things that a lot of people do on the city fix videos and the other random videos to make it look like they have these huge amounts of traffic so then once it's all built up so it's not really built up that much but then you might for example let's just pause it so for example, I might let it build up for maybe 10 minutes. So that's this huge, huge traffic nightmare. So once it's built up quite a lot for however long you want, I would actually go back into the time traffic light and then just remove it and completely remove the traffic light and then just let it go. And you might have just traffic like that. It looks like now, it now looks like there's a lot of traffic trying to go through there because you made it build up and it makes it look like there's just more continuous amounts of traffic. But realistically, it's been manipulated, right? Something else that we would also do is you'd set up the time traffic lights. So make them all um, the red lights. So they have to stop and build up, build up, build up. And then what you might do is to make it look like there's a huge traffic jam, you might start doing these retarded um, turns like this. So you might have these guys here wanting to turn across. And then you might have this traffic here trying to cross over here like this. So you might want to remove it from there, make it all go like that. And then when you press play, it makes everything look really crazy because things are trying to cross over. It's just a real huge mess. So now that we've rearranged all of these lane management things, once you click off it, you don't even see it. So you guys wouldn't even know that we have done that. And then you can remove the traffic lights and then completely remove them all together and then press play. And then you'll notice that things are starting to go a little bit crazy. Obviously, if you let it build up more, there's going to be more of a huge tra traffic jam, but these are the types of things that we would do. For a specific example, what I did for this official video, I wanted there to be a bit of a traffic jam right here. So what I actually did was, again, I removed the highway connection up here. I diverted all of the traffic down through here, which you can see has happened all the way down through, 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 and then stops here and waits. And then over on this side, we have all of this, tra this traffic coming down through here, mixes in with the truck traffic, which is already bad. And then I actually diverted it along here and then down through this little road through here, and then it turns left and then they all wait. And then, so what I actually did to make it look worse than it actually is, I made all of this traffic for no particular reason. They all wanted to turn this way. And then these guys all wanted to go straight ahead. And then this traffic up here, they all wanted to go down here. And you can see we also have the pedestrians crossing through there as well, which is going to make it really, really busy. So now we have all of these vehicles crossing over to make it look so much more worse than it is. So if I just pause and then we go in here, remove the time traffic lights and then remove this as well. And then what I would also do is go like this. So remove the intersection so they all go straight through. And then I'd be like, oh my God, you guys, look how bad this intersection is. Wow, I can't believe this city is so bad. <laughs> so that's the type of thing that I would do. And this is just something to think about when you're watching all of these other fake city fix videos. Like basically everything is, it's not real and it's all set up. It's all organized. It's all made to make it look bad. And it's really easy to just make up these big traffic jams and not show you guys how it was made or where it comes from. So in the future, when you're watching these pretend city fix videos on these random YouTuber channels, have a look, do they show where all of the traffic issue comes from or are they just showing close-ups? Because if they're just showing close-ups, it's fake.
Now, while we're in the downtown area, um, since this city isn't too big and I wanted it to be really, really messy, what I actually do is put buildings on top of each other. So for example, if we go to the Move It mod here, a lot of these buildings through here, they have about 20 buildings inside of them, which really increases the amount of people in one small specific area. So for example, I can pull this over, look, there's another one, there's another one, and another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. So there's so many, and it's the same for all of these buildings in through here. So I wanted to really beef up the amount of pedestrian activity, the amount of car activity, and I wanted it to just look really, really busy, but it's something that you wouldn't even notice was in there. So you can see here, now that I've demolished all of those buildings, you suddenly have a huge influx of random people walking around, which is obviously going to emphasize, oh, we need more walkability, we need more pathways, we need more of this. And then once you add in all of those new public transport bits, suddenly all of those people have already gone home. So then it looks like you fixed the issue, but you actually haven't really done anything. You've just deleted all of those buildings and they've all gone away anyway. Now, another thing that I would use is, I have several different mods to enhance um, basically traffic behavior. So we have the real-time mod. So the real-time mod, I would often film my city fix intros during the most busy time. So whether that's in the morning or when they're all going home in the game. Another mod that I would use is the heavy traffic mod. So that actually increases the amount of traffic coming through your whole city. So basically this, it just increases the amount of traffic on the highway. But of course, if you remove the highway, then all of those extra vehicles are going to go through your downtown area. Something else that I would use is all of these right here. So if I suddenly fixed up everything and I wanted it to look like it's better, I can basically remove all of the, um, the hearses, the garbage trucks, the police, um, basically everything. And if I wanted all of the buildings to look better, I can increase education, land value. And if I didn't want you guys to notice that there's ground pollution or anything like that, or be bothered by the noise pollution, I can basically turn it all off right here and make it look like what I've done has actually, it actually hasn't really changed anything. I've just changed a mod setting. So there's all of these different things that we can just enable that make it look like we fixed something when we actually haven't. Now, another thing that people often do now, I don't know this for sure, but I can just assume based from their bad traffic um, fixes doing air quotes here. So they basically would just remove despawning like that. There we go. Gets rid of despawning. Looks like it's suddenly fixed. I never did this. I never ever did this because my traffic and my fixes were always good enough to actually make it improve. But um, all of these other people doing city fix videos, obviously their fixes are not going to work because they're, all, <laughs> they're really concerned about making money and clickbait videos. So obviously they want to make it look like what they've done has fixed it up, but they've really just enabled despawning. Now, something else that I did do sometimes, not in this city in particular, for some reason in this city, there's no trains. I don't know why the connections are all there, but what I would do is if I wanted it to look like we needed more public transport, for example, with the train, what I would do is I would go all the way out of the city. Maybe let's go over here, um, for example, here, and then I would connect a road going through it. Oops, I just lost that building like so. And then what I would actually do is I would set up the time traffic lights, which actually affects the trains as well. So you can make the train stop and wait and wait and wait and make it look like you have this huge issue with all the train lines because there's suddenly 20 trains lined up. But what that also does is it makes a huge, where is it? It makes a huge amount of people look like they're waiting for trains. So then it looks like you need to improve the train lines. But once you actually remove that traffic light that was holding up all of the trains, everything goes back to normal. But again, it makes it look like your fixes have actually fixed up your train issues. When in, when in reality, all you've done is just press to play. I suppose another thing I could mention is the RCI demand. So of course I do change that around a lot, but is that really a secret? I mean, I've always been honest about that. Um, something else that I might do is for example, if the harbor is causing a lot of people to suddenly spawn, I would turn it off. Same with, for example, schools. If there was a lot of people um, spawning or trying to get to school and it was just causing too much of an issue, I would turn it off and basically make it look like it was all better. 
And also one more thing with the pathway. So if I wanted it to look like there was a lot of people suddenly walking on the pathways, what do I do? What I would do is make all of these stop signs, well, basically traffic lights, red lights, so they couldn't cross and I'd make them build up, build up, build up. And then suddenly I would remove all those traffic lights and then it would look like there's all of these little people walking around everywhere. And I'd be like, oh my God, it's really, really busy. That's so good to see, but really it's actually just a build up from the traffic light. So yeah, you guys are probably going to really hate me for this. You're going to say that I'm really, I don't know, jealous of other people doing city fix videos, which is really not, which, which really isn't right at all. Um, I've had them actually ask me if they could do that and I said, yeah, go ahead, I don't mind at all. Just make sure you mention me in the first video. So if you think that I'm jealous of other people doing city fix videos, I'm honestly not. If you think I'm jealous of other YouTubers in general, I'm really not because I know who is better and who's not. I just thought it was worth being really honest with you guys because there's all of these city fix videos going on now and I think we really owe it to you guys just to be honest and tell you how these things actually work and to show you guys that it's not always real, it's quite manufactured and it's just really there for your entertainment and to really suck you guys in and get you guys to come back and watch more and um, make those clickbait titles. So again you guys, I'm not um, mad or anything, I really just wanted to be honest with you guys and just tell you how it really is. Um, this is all just a hobby for me, so if you guys end up all hating me, I can just leave anyway. It's not my source for income. So, yeah, but I just really wanted to be honest, honest with you guys and let you know so you can really just decide if you still want to watch all of the other City Fix videos because they're not really that genuine. And they are kind of boring. I mean, <laughs> I've done so many and I'm kind of a little bit sick of doing them, to be honest, and I can't be bothered to watch anyone else's because they're quite boring. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and let me know are any of these new tips and things a surprise to you? Do you use any of these tips in your own videos on your own channel? Maybe I watch your channel, maybe I don't, I don't know, but let, just let me know if you knew about these tips or if you had any ideas. But generally, um, I tried not to do too much of this stuff because I wanted to keep it as genuine as possible. And um, I think if I always, I think if I always made the cities really, really bad in City Fix, it would be a little bit too obvious that I'm making it up, right? Yeah, so I didn't want to make it too crazy all the time like other people do, which is kind of lame. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Again, don't say that I'm salty or angry or anything because I'm really honestly not. And if you want to come and argue with me on Instagram, you can do so. It's linked down below. Oh, and also just before I go, don't forget this city is available to download on my Steam Workshop. It is a completely vanilla city, so it should be really easy to download and play with. Yeah, it's a really great map. I enjoyed making it. All of the buildings are vanilla as well. So yeah, it's really, really easy for you guys to download if you don't want to use lots of mods and it runs really, really smoothly. So anyway, bye guys.